Good morning, folks. Um, in this little chainsaw tutorial, we're going to show you uh, a very easy way to see if all the teeth on your chainsaw, left side, right side, are the same size. It's a very easy hack most of the time. And when you're sharpening a chainsaw, you want to make sure that each of the individual teeth are sharp. You do that with your file. You want to make sure that your raker right here is set to the appropriate depth and that uh, each one of those is constant. That's going to give you the depth of cut that each tooth is going to cut. And the sharpness, of course, is going to uh, ensure a smooth, easy cut. The next thing that you need to be concerned with is that each one of these teeth right here are the same length. If you, and everybody has a preferential side when they're sharpening a saw, and if you sharpen it over a period of uh, three or four cycles right here, one side, either the left or the right, is likely to become shorter than the other because you're more efficient at going this way than you are at going this way. That, and so uh, that'll manifest itself. Instead of a nice smooth cut straight down through your log, you'll either get a slice or you'll get a hook. Um, and the way you correct that is by making sure that each tooth is exactly the same size. Now, if you're, or the same length, from the, the heel right here to uh, the cutting edge, the point right here, okay? And so um, most of the time people say, well, you can just look at it and judge and see. And well, when you're old, lots of times that really doesn't work that well. Um, there's an easy way. You don't have to have a micrometer or anything like that to do that, but you do have to have a couple of tools. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do is go through here and find uh, which one of these teeth seems to be the shortest. And that one right there looks reasonable. So we'll set our break right there and we'll mark that one. First thing you need is a red pencil or a colored pencil of some kind or another. We're just going to mark that. That's going to be our starting unit right there. And we're going to measure that one. The next tool you're going to need is a simple crescent wrench. We take our crescent wrench, we put it on our chain right here. We tighten the crescent wrench until you can easily, let it's reasonably tight going on and off of that tooth right there, okay? Now then, crescent wrenches are pretty famous for being a little loose. So the next piece of equipment you're going to have to have is a little piece of duct tape. Some kind of, well that went really well, Randy. Duct tape. A handyman's secret weapon. So you're going to get yourself a little piece of duct tape and you're going to ensure that this crescent wrench doesn't wobble by simply taking that duct tape and wrapping it around just like so. Now you've got an instant micrometer that's already set and it's set to the smallest tooth. So the next thing you do is you go to each tooth. Now see that one right there? That one right there barely goes on. And so that, one's a, that tooth right there in relationship to our short one is a little long. So we make a mark there, we go to the next one. That one's just a hair long, we mark that one. Next one fits, next one fits, next one fits. That one right there is just a little long, we mark that one. And so forth, as we go along our chain. Now we know that we've marked that one as the one we started with right here. We go and set it and continue to go along each one of these teeth and measure each one. If it doesn't fit, mark it. Those are the ones you come back and measure on. That is the simplest, easiest way to check and make sure that all of the teeth on your chainsaw are equal length. Easy measuring, easy way to do it. And boom shakalaka, done.